had uh, Daquan Jones with the groin, Taylor Moten with the groin, Bull. We had Burris with the neck, with the hamstring, Elfline with the hip, Miller with illness, and Smith with shoulder. In terms of gang status, we have no one listed. So I will turn it over and open it up for Coach. Sounds good, Coach. Would you like to start with an opening statement? Or go no, ahead? go ahead. Go, go, right, go right to questions. Awesome. And we ask everybody just please use the raise your hand button, and uh, we'll start with questions. Anybody would like to open up, then go ahead and ask their question. Hey, um, Matt. Um, have you decided how you whether John Miller will play? Or will it be a rotational thing? Uh, will he start? John will start. Yep. Next question, we'll go to Stephen Toronto. Coach, I, I apologize if you've been asked this already or earlier in the week, Turn but on. the Saints have really become the, the standard bearer in the NFC South over the past four years. Uh, how important do you feel like it is to – uh, really have a good showing on Sunday to show that this Panthers team can be competitors in the NFC South. Uh, I'm not trying, you know, I'm not trying to show anybody anything. I, you know, I, I we're, we're, we have a competitive group of guys. They, they want to go win. Nothing that nothing from the past carries over the future. You know, obviously, um, you know, the Saints are a great team. They showed that last week. Um, we're, we're just completely focused on Sunday and playing our best game. All right, next we'll go to Joe Person, followed by Scott Fowler. Matt, do you think John can go the whole game? He told us yesterday he's still kind of working on his conditioning. I think we're, I think we're just going to have to see how it goes, Joe. I don't, you know, I mean, I think we'll have to see how hot it is. I think we'll have to see how the drives go. Um, but I'll say this. I don't know if I've ever been around a, a tougher a f tougher guy than Johnny Miller in terms of uh, playing through pain, um, you know, playing through, uh, you know, uh, everything really. So, I mean, he, he's a guy that's comfortable being uncomfortable. Um, can't say enough about his competitive character. So, um, you know, at the same time, we want to be smart and healthy with him. We don't want to put him in a bad position. So I, I think we'll go out there. You know, Dennis has repped, you know, this week. Uh, you know, Pat's, you know, was has been a little bit limited in practice, you know, one of the days. So um, have, we'll have all those guys ready and up. Matt, you addressed this a little bit earlier in the week. But if I could ask you again to talk a little bit more about Chuba Hubbard sort of what you need from him, what you expect from him uh, going in this weekend and, and just really over the next few weeks? Yeah, you know, uh, number one, I'll say the positive so far, Chuba has done a great job on special teams. You know, he drove the guy back into the punter last week. Um, you know, so he's done a really nice job for us on teams, not just being a guy out there, but being a, a physical force. Um, you know, he's gotten out in the route, caught, caught two balls in the routes. Uh, there's really no question about his ability to run the football. Um, I think he just has to be excellent protection wise. You know, I think the one thing about playing on offense is, you know, you have one lapse, um, one focus, one mistake, one safety comes off the backside of the edge one. And, you know, you can change the game. It can hurt your teammate, all those things. So Chuba's worked hard at that. And I'm also, Scott, really happy with Royce Freeman. Um, you know, he, he's a pros pro, um, really good player. So uh, we just need to continue to, 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 to give those guys reps so they get comfortable and really, it just comes down to protection. You know, they can, they can run the football. We know that. So I'm making sure that when they're in the game that we can, you know, be 50-50 with them. Thanks. All right, next question, we'll go to Will Palacio. Matt, I got two. I'll go one at a time. Um, do you have, I guess, a more defined plan for, uh, for nickel this week without Hartsfield? Yeah, you know, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm um, not going to probably say too much. You know, uh, obviously, I don't, I don't, I don't want to divulge to them. What, you know what we're doing, but um, you know, um, uh, we have, we have some guys available to us, and um, um, you know, some guys are just, to, are just going to have to step up. And just the other one would be: uh, is a punt return kind of status quo? Or are you moving in some different guys there? No, we'll go with Alex. You know, he averaged ten yards of return last week. You know, the last one, we had some issues kind of up front. You know, uh, some, some, not, not. not uh, not a clear enough picture. So we, we, uh, we've worked hard on that, on that this week. I thought as the game went on the last return, I think it was like 15 yards. So, you know, uh, I think Alex is our longest tenured, uh, you know, played the, played the most games. He played 81 straight games in the national football league is what I was told by a couple of the guys. I don't, I, I don't know. Bruce might tell you that's true or not, but so Alex is a pro. He can help us at wide out. He can help us at the punt returner. Um, you know, we'll, we'll do a lot with him this week. All right, let's go back to Joe person. 
meant to ask you, Matt, about Taylor. Saw him kind of pop up with a groin yesterday. Yeah, yeah, just, just felt tightness, you know. So, you know, obviously, um, you know, hadn't really felt it before that. Just kind of got tight yesterday. I think uh, maybe got tight in the game. And, you know, t- Timo is such a grinder, you know, grinded his way through it. But uh, so we've tried to we've tried to be smart with him in terms of, you know, you know, giving him all the treatment he can get. And so, but, uh, you know, I would expect him to play. Do we have any more questions for Coach? All right, guys, thank you. Thank you, Coach.